All right, guys. When you go to each of the discussion forums uh, on the edX platform, it's more of a, a diary entry for most people. So when you go on them, you can see right at the bottom that there's 463 pages, uh, which isn't great. So each person responds with their own little thing, how memory works, and then it just goes off into the ether and nobody ever reads it again. We can kill two birds with one stone in solving this. And I think the best way to do this is to use you to have more responsibility in these discussion forums. So what we're gonna do is make you what's called a community TA. Uh, if you wish to do this, this is completely voluntary, then when you post, you'll see that little green stripe and it will say community TA. The other thing that it gives you, uh, when you're looking through each of these posts and it seems like the person who posted that thing gets it, you click that little endorse button and it turns blue and then it flags it as being endorsed by a community TA. There's another feature that we're gonna be introducing. And so you see at the top, there's the wiki, progress, guests. And on Wednesday, there's going to appear Think 101 Community that edX has done for us specifically because we have so much activity in our course. This, when you click on it, so it says uh, follow Think 101 social updates. And so it's really just kind of um, amalgamating everyone's um, Twitter feed as well as the Facebook page updates. The first thing I want you to do is spend two minutes, get a piece of paper and a pen and give me an example of regression towards the mean. Write it down and then I'll get you to share it with each other in your groups. It's sort of like a pendulum swing. One day someone might be doing excessively well on something and then they come back towards the middle and people are assuming that this high note is where they're going to stay when actually this is where they really belong. Yep. I had a real general one just for everyday life is happiness. Like there'll be some days where you can just feel on top of the world, exceptionally happy, like everything is going your way. Like the day after you might not feel as elated. No one can be exceptionally happy all the time. I play tennis and some days I go and play and I play really well and, and then other times I go and play and like a four-year-old could beat me, I just do really badly. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose there's too many independent error yeah. factors yeah. Wow, in there. Beautiful, I love that language. <laughs> well, the definition of a sacred cow, it's an idiom and it's something that is considered immune from question or criticism. This is something that you, you truly believe but nobody can touch. Now I need you to spend 30 seconds thinking about what your sacred cow is. Jason thinks that you need to brush your teeth with warm water. I'm like what? Why? Uh, water is wasted, it's germs, wasted. germs or something? Yeah, think of the energy, the water. Yeah. Swimming with dolphins is safe, uh, so dolphins keep the sharks away. That's Rachel's. Do you, have you looked into that? <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You gotta lock your door. Are robbers coming to the door and checking it and then leaving? Is that what's happening? That was fun. Okay, do your quiz. Why do people like decide to live on the coast or in like areas where you're more likely to get hit by natural disasters, but like they still want to live there? Like how all Australians live on the coast, but they just got like hit by a big cyclone up north. <laughs> I'm super excited about mine. Cool. So my question is, why is monogamy the dominant slash normal relationship structure? Yep. Why do people just assume that it's the best and think that they can't do anything else without trying it? I think that it's really, like, people are really aware of what's going on in the world, but they just don't want to admit it. And until something actually truly happens that's going to devastate their lives, they're not going to try to attempt to do anything to change it.